Hi, I'm Gabby. I'm the art teacher at Boys and Girls Club Joe R. Lee. And today we're gonna learn how to draw this super cute llama unicorn. So it's not just a llama, it has a little horn right here. That's what makes it magical. So let's get drawing. All you need to do is grab a pencil, an eraser, a Sharpie, and a black pen. Let's go. Go ahead and pick up your pencil. First thing, we're gonna make a little tick mark right in the middle of our page. From there, I'm gonna put a circle over to the left of that tick mark. Next, I'm gonna make an oval, and it is gonna be overlapping the circle, and you wanna make sure the top of the circle lines up with the top of the oval. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two shapes. So there's our llama body. On to the neck. I'm going to do a line going up from the front of the circle and then a curved line from the back. There's our llama neck. Now I have a circle for the head and I'm going to make another circle right in front of that first circle and that's going to be where my nose is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and connect the two. There's our llama head. Now we got to throw in some cute little ears. So I'm going to do two curved lines. That first one just coming down over the head. Uh, the second one's kind of sitting right on top of the head. And then from there a little dip down and then I'm going to connect it back to the head. So they're kind of like little square ears. Who says unicorns have to be the only magical animal? Llamas are magical too. We're going to give this guy a horn. Go ahead and do a curved line uh, right up near the top of the head. Bring it up into a skinny triangle. And there we have our horn. Now for the legs, I'm going to go ahead and put two little parentheses right in the bottom of that circle. And from there, our legs are rectangle shaped. So I'm gonna bring those down and connect them to those parentheses. Don't be afraid to go over your pencil lines a couple times. We're gonna be erasing them anyway. Now we have to add that other leg. So go ahead and throw a little rectangle in, kind of peeking from behind that first leg. Now for our back leg, I did two more parentheses and brought it down into a rectangle shape. And you wanna make it level with that first leg that we did. Now we need a leg peeking from behind that back leg, so just another rectangle will do. From there, it's time to go ahead and grab your Sharpie or your black marker, and we're going to be going over the lines we want to keep. So let's go ahead and go around those ears, and around that unicorn horn. Now we're gonna go around the outside of the head. Don't do the circles, those circles are just there for us. Now for the back, it's gonna be a solid line. And we're gonna do something a little different for the bottom of the llama. He's gonna have a little fluff, so we're gonna start adding these short little lines going down the front of the neck. You can do a solid line going around the legs. Don't forget about those little back legs. Some fluff there for the belly. And then that last little bit of fluff is going to go right there at the bottom. Okay, this llama needs an eye. Go ahead and do a curved line with your black marker up at the head. And then add another curved line to the end of it like a little eyelash. Our nose is just like a little triangle. And then, of course, she's a happy llama. She needs a little smile. Okay, now my favorite part. We're gonna grab our eraser and just go crazy. We wanna get rid of all those pencil lines. Look at that llama! Looks so good! Now we're going to grab our pencil and start adding those little details. 
Starting with the saddle, which is right on top of the llama, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a half circle peeking down from the back and then a bigger half circle below that. Perfect. Now we're going to add another line in between those two half circles. And as you can see, it's actually going to be a double line. So we want to add a, a little extra width to it. Looking good. Now we're going to add some more half circles right above that double line. And we're going to add some full circles along the bottom. And that's what's going to become those little coin things hanging down from the saddle. So our llama also has a little necklace on, as you can see. We're going to add two lines right at the base of the neck. That top line is actually going to be a double line, so I'm going to add some width there. And then I'm going to do more half circles right on the inside. From there, I'm going to add those little circle coin things right along the bottom. On to the ankles. These are pretty easy. We're just going to do two lines at the bottom of each leg and then add a line right in the middle. Our llama's looking so cute, but we do need to finalize some of those pencil lines we just made. So jump over to your black pen. We're gonna start up at the llama corn horn and throw some curved lines uh, in just to give it a little detail. Now onto the saddle, I'm gonna go over that inside half circle and then for those little half circle things, I'm actually going to give them some width with my pen. Uh, so I'm just going to go around the pencil lines. I'm going to go right over that double line. And then for these little coin things, I am going to go around them. And I'm not going to draw the pencil line through them. You can kind of think of it like a necklace with little beads on it. Now for these details on the neck, I'm going to go right over that double line. Same thing with these half circles. I'm going to go ahead and go around them, giving it a little extra width. And then for these little coins, I'm going around the circles and then just drawing the line that connects them. Go ahead and pick up your eraser. Erase all those pencil lines and your llama is finally ready to be colored. So if you have colored pencils or markers, you're welcome to use them. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna color this llama. Cue the music. ding 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 oh it's over thank you guys so much for watching i hope your llama corn turned out amazing remember if it looks different than mine that's totally fine as you can see the one i did today looks different than the one i did earlier and that's okay every llama is different they're all unique and that is what makes them awesome so just embrace it remember to keep practicing and keep having fun making art